welcome to Discover English Academy video. I'm Yalda and today I want to teach you something very interesting. I want to teach you some Canadian expressions. Um, the first one, which is A, um, very Canadian. It's a traditional Canadian word and expression that they use it in daily conversation. And it's very Canadian, okay? And if you live in Canada, you must have heard that. And they use it whenever you don't understand something or you're not sure something is true or not or you want the other person to respond. For example, we are going to a party tonight, eh? So you want to check, okay? And so the meaning can be, huh, when you don't believe something, right? Or what? So you use a instead. So we see, so just say a so you can have three meanings. Okay, the other word is loony. Loony, it gets the name from, um, actually just like this is one dollar coin, Canadian coin, and it gets the name from the bird, Canadian bird, the loon, that you can see the picture on one side of the coin, one dollar coin, and uh, so they call it loony because of that bird on the coin. And Tuni gets the name is two dollars coin and gets the name uh, just like because they want it to just sound similar to Looney, so they just say Tuni to two dollars coin, not a speci special reason. Okay. Um, the other one is Teenies. If you're a true Canadian, you must know Teenies or Tim Horton. Tim Horton is a very popular fast food coffee shop I can tell and it's Canadian very Canadian and they call it Timmy's and Timbit we just like call some just round small donuts we call them Timbits and they are very good match with double double so where is double 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 is a regular coffee with two creams and two sugar. We call it double double. We, you don't say, I want a coffee with two creams and two sugar. You just say, I want a double double. Okay? Toke is another word and it means a hat with a very, very um, actually thin rim. And so they usually wear it whenever the weather is cold or cool, I can tell like in fall, winter, spring, anytime, just like all year round. So you can just like wear it because here is Canada and sometimes it's cold, not in Vancouver, but in the other cities it's quite cold in winter. Um, the other word that you can see here is Mickey. Mickey is a flask sized bottle filled with liquor and you can buy it from just liquor stores. That's the only place you can buy it. And because it's too small, because of the size, you can just like fit it in your bag, okay? Or even in your hand. And so whenever you wanna just like go somewhere, but just like keep that in your mind, you cannot drink in public in Canada. So you can only drink in a bar or a restaurant or at home. The other word is click. Click means kilometer. For example, you can say next Tim Horton is just three clicks away from here. Next Timmy's is three clicks away from here, three kilometers away from here. The other word is stag or staget. That's the Canadian word that use it for instead of um, bachelor or bachelorette party pre-wedding ceremonies, right? Um, to say stag or stag at party. The other word is runners. Runners, um, so we call it just um, two running shoes or just like some comfortable shoes that you might wear them outside for just like jogging or walking, okay? The other one is beauty. Beauty, you can refer to something that was done very well or to a great person, exceptionally great person. So your mom is a beauty, just left me some timbits here. The other one, the other expressions that you see here is what you're saying, 
What you're saying means what are you doing? So whenever you want to ask what someone is doing, so you can say, hey, what you doing? Or what you saying in Canada? What you saying for tonight? Say nothing, nothing special. Probably just staying at home, watching movies. Yeah, what you're saying instead of what you're doing. The other word is true. True means okay. For example, you call your friend and you say, uh, you know what, I'm running late because I missed a bus. And you say, okay, or true. True means okay. Okay, so it doesn't mean that something is true. So it means just okay. Chesterfield is a word that is used usually by older crowd and it means a couch or sofa. You can say, go sit on the Chesterfield and eat your popcorn. Okay, so this is a sofa or a couch. And serviette is another name for napkin. So you can use instead of napkin. I hope you enjoyed this video and you learned some Canadian expressions. Um, so you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, whenever we upload a video, you can just, you'll be notified and you can watch videos there. And so you, also you can just like watch other videos there, our other videos. And um, so you can join our Telegram channel and our Facebook page for learning daily, learning English lessons or expressions daily. Thank you for watching this again and see you in the next lesson.